everybody welcome back to stereo intellect <laughs> this is my sixth time trying to film this video ah! Ooh! Ooh! Ah! anyways uh by the way my name is scott i have not introduced myself some of my friends have mentioned that <laughs> a couple other things too uh the cables that i use um i have this really nifty you know so one of my friends asked me what's that thing doing on your cable uh, this is an undertone audio UTA very cap cable it uh, it has variable capacitance a lot of people would say why would you want any capacitance on your cable it's pretty cool sometimes uh, I'll use it to kind of tame some of that high end and it tames kind of high end and dynamics at the same time and like with really bright single coils or something like that it's super cool um, but they're, they're a little bit expensive it's not exactly a cheap cable they're about a hundred bucks um, they might, there might be more, I, I don't remember, but, um, I just decided to get one and I, and I just, I use it. I'm, I'm not using any, there's no capacitance involved. By the way, I'm all set here with my chai tea latte from Eamon and Beck on YouTube. Shout, shout out to Eamon and Beck. Uh, this is great, fresh chai. Love it. It's cold here in California, Southern California. We've had the torrential downpour. It's like Noah's Ark's gonna be showing up here any moment. <laughs> it's, anyways, it's a nice cold day, which is a great day to shoot a video and have some fun with tone, right? We're using the BTR23 today. I'm running it with the master volume all the way up. The volume, the volume right now is on about two o'clock. So I'm also using a Variac. For those of you who don't know what a Variac is, it looks like this. I can't quite, the cables, <laughs> cables pulling it. Um, can you see that? Yeah, there you go. Looks like this. Um, I believe it's a Rio stat. I could be wrong. Um, if I remember right. Uh, and it just, it, it turns the voltage down from the wall. So it basically is giving the amplifier less gasoline. What I want to talk about today is open back versus closed back and, and different speakers. So a lot of people get involved in guitar and they end up playing a combo amp because it's the easiest thing to buy at first. And most of the time combos especially tube amps are going to be open back you can't really close back a tube amp because um a, co a tube combo because you trap too much heat in there tubes get real hot so most of the time if you buy just sort of like a fender princeton or a deluxe reverb or any of those combo fenders they're all open back and they have a certain sound to them and if you want to get into rock, you can definitely rock with a Fender. They will, they will rock. They'll rock great. Um, but the feeling that you get from a closed back cabinet is, is a different thing. So when you're on a stage and you're using an open back cabinet, it'll fill the stage. It, it kind of has this kind of glow underneath your playing, especially if you're playing big chords or, you know, big cleans or something like that. Um, the open back really fills the stage. Close back, on the other hand, is really beam-like and directional. So you can use that to your advantage on a stage. Like you could turn it to the side if you don't want to kill the crowd with a close back cabinet, but it does change the feel under your hands. The close back cabinet is going to be a lot tighter. The box is sealed, so the speakers don't move as much. And so it's a much tighter feeling, which is why metal players usually use closed back because they want, you know, for all those riffs that are like all that kind of stuff, they want it suction tight. They don't want that speaker moving around. I was the opposite growing up. I grew up playing in metal bands, mostly drums and then into guitar, but we always used closed back cabinets because we were searching for that super tight percussive thing. And I didn't get into the open back thing until a little bit later, much less exploring other speakers. So what I'm getting at is if you've got an amplifier and instead of thinking, wow, I'd like to save up $2,000 so I can get that rock amplifier for when I need to do rock, you know, or vice versa. If you're a rock person and you want to get into top 40 stuff, you know, and, and you need to get, you want to get some cool, like, you know, combo that's two, two grand, some boutique, whatever, you know, maybe it's another divided by 13, you know, instead of getting another amplifier, you could just get yourself another cabinet with a different speaker and have an entirely different tonal characteristic to use in your palette. So I'll give a couple of examples. I'm not going to play a lot today uh, just because I don't, I don't really want to annoy the neighbors. This is real cabinets, by the way. Okay, so here is our mic setup. Here's our room mic. It's just a, a few feet above where the K2 
cabinets are. I'll show you there. Um, here's the mic placement I've been rocking kind of lately. Sort of a 45-ish degree angle just off the center of the cone, like center of the cones, you know, like right there-ish. And then uh, same thing with the clothes back with the greenbacks. That tape is where my buddy likes to mic. This is his cabinet. It's where he likes to mic it. But as you can see, same, same kind of thing there. And that's our mic setup. Uh, that's a 212 closed back with greenbacks. And then this is a 212 open back with a G12H 30 anniversary, not the hair, not the heritage greenback. That's the ceramic 30 watt anniversary speaker. And then that is the G12 blue. I'll show you guys what that looks like. They look like that. G12H 30 and a blue. I'm also, uh, I'm gonna have to turn around here in a minute and unmute the room mic. I've, you know, um, obviously there's three mics and a microphone on the cabinet is one thing, uh, but they're very, they're all, they're close in sound as opposed to when you get away from the cabinet, you start to hear more of the cabinet itself. Um, these definitely sound different under the microphones for sure. They're, they're pretty different. But when you get some distance from the cabinet is when you start to actually get the vibe of what it sounds like in the room. So here's, this is the open back. Pretty dirty. I'm running the amp, you know, pretty hard. I'll give us a little delay. This is a Moog delay. There's the nice noise from the Moog. And I kicked the modulation. There we go. I love this delay. It's really great. Um, I'm using it. I set up for rock, um, so it's not hitting the delay. I'm not hitting the delay very hard right now because I gotta turn up the guitar. And there it is. So I'm gonna kick that off. So to give it an example of what you would use close back with. So if I do, if I do, you guys all know this. Right, if we do Unchained, if I move, here I'll move to the close back cabinet. You can hear, hear that already. See, it's a lot closer to that thing, right? I'll go back to the, the open back. Still a great sound, it's just a different thing. Also for leads sometimes, you know, I'll use an open back instead of a closed back because it's got a bit more mid-range and kind of sticks out in the track. great sound but when you get over to that close back it's just more that sound I'm gonna reach back here I'm gonna mute the direct mics and I'm unmuting the room mic I, I didn't want the room mic in my I, I'm using in-ears to not affect uh, so I know exactly what's going on with the amplifier you know and not affect um, my mic for my vocal. So here's here's what the room mic sounds like. It's really different, right? That was closed back. Here's open back.
Oh. It's like instant vibe, you know. Close back. You can really hear that tightness in there. That nice rock. Back to open back. You can hear all that mid range. down a bit. Even if I kick on delay. It's a bit more focused. sound. Get that nice glow underneath your plank. Okay, I think I've made my point. If if you're somebody who's always played open back, you might want to check out a closed back cabinet and vice versa. If you're a rock person and, and you have always played closed back cabinets, check out an open back cab. It could be a great way to expand your tonal possibilities. Anyways, as always, please like and subscribe. Let me know what you liked. Let me know what you didn't like. Let me know stuff you'd like to know about. I'm really glad to respond to questions. Maybe I'll even do an episode responding to things. I'm, I'm getting a lot of questions from friends about what's your favorite amp overall, uh, part pertaining to the divided by 13 uh, videos. Um, and I'm just, I'm willing to open a conversation about anything. I love talking about tone, um, and music, writing songs, all that stuff. So please, I'm an open book. Let's talk about music.